Samar here from Little Miss Style Blog, and I am back with a brand new video. For today's video, I'm talking all about my updated hat collection. If you recall, I have done a hat collection video before on my channel, which I will be leaving the link to that if you didn't miss it. But since that last video, I have truly, truly increased my collection. Hats have just been something I have been going towards when I either have a bad hair day or I'm just having a day where I just want to add a little bit more chic or spruce up an outfit that may be pretty boring just alone. And if you also know me, you know I'm really big on statement pieces. When it comes to fashion, I tend to go more towards the basics and basic colors. So I really depend on my jewelry and I depend on hats to really take my personal style to the next level. Another cool note about all the hats that I'm showing you today is that they're all under $15, which is amazing. And on average, most of them are even under $10. So I will do my best because I don't know if I can find them all as cheap because I got a lot of them in the store. But I'm going to do my best to make sure I stay with that limit for you guys when I find comparisons. So I have a feeling this might be a bit of a long video. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible, but... I'm going to stop gabbing and get right into it with my very first hat. Okay, so for my first hat, this one is pretty basic. I was kind of surprised I didn't own one for a while. And then when I came upon it, I was like, okay, I do not own a gray hat. It's just a simple gray. I call these a fedora, but I don't think they're technically called a fedora. Um, it has a wider brim. Usually the fedora ones are like, they're bent on the side. So this one is not... A fedora, forgive me if I'm saying the right tech, the wrong technical name, but I call it a fedora. And I like to wear this usually in the back. It's kind of hard to do with my big bun, but I usually wear it towards the back so that the brim can stick out. I am small and I have a very big head, which is a bad comparison to have when you're hat shopping because I like my hats to be big enough to accommodate my big hair and my big head and but at the same time I don't like the brim to be too, so large that it's overpowering my entire look so this hat is perfect because it fits in both categories where it lets me um it's big enough that I can wear with my hair down but then the brim is small enough where it doesn't look like it's overpowering me and I think this actually is a menswear hat which is probably one of the reasons why it fits me so well. Um, I got this specific hat at um, the Urban Outfitters Surplus Store, which is located here in LA, but I believe they also have this hat available on the Urban Outfitters um, website under the sales section. So as I mentioned before, I'll be leaving a link to it, but just in case you guys were wondering. Okay, so since I just showed you the gray hat, I felt it makes more sense for me to just show you that same exact hat, which I got into in two other colors. And color hats for some people I know are sometimes difficult because you don't necessarily know what to match it with. I don't recommend you make it a matchy-matchy. Like, let's say, for example, if you have a red hat, it doesn't mean you have to have an entire red outfit. Um, there's a lot of contrast colors that work good with um, hats where you can just use it to pop off the look. So um, if you guys want to see a video more about that and how I specifically style my color hats um let me know that below because i i want to do a video but only if you guys want to see it so let me know below and maybe i can put together like a lookbook or um some type of like style book where i'm showing you how i style my colorful hats which are really my favorite things to wear because i love color so when it comes to hats i try to kind of go outside the box and get more colorful hats that in colors that i would normally wear for clothing if that makes any sense but let's let me show you another color I got that same hat it's in like this um let me straighten it out it's in like a royal blue it's the same exact style as the last hat that I showed you I believe it's even the same exact size yeah it says a large extra large it has wool in it which is great because you can wear it in the um winter when it's cold and um yeah, it also has polyester. It's really, it's the same exact hat, same size. I believe this hat was 
at that Urban Outfitter Surplus store, it was normally marked from $40 to $5. So it was a great In addition day. to that blue hat, I also have a similar hat. It's not the exact hat, but it's a similar color hat. And I have an orange. This one, I love this little, I don't know what to call it, crease. I love the crease. The brim is also a lot... Um, it's a lot thicker, and this hat is a lot more sturdier. The brand is called Rosswin, Rosswin Headwear. I have seen this a lot in different stores, so I can tell it's built a lot more better. I love the brim. I love the burnt orange. This goes with so many different things. I love putting it with hunter green. I love putting it with um, a mustard colored outfit. And sometimes it just looks good with just a white shirt and jeans and like a good like nude color lip this hat looks perfect and um i noticed out of all my hats this is the one i have been wearing the most lately as you can probably see from all the wear on it um yeah it has grass on it i have no idea where it came from but yes this is a really sturdy hat um it's very comfortable to wear it's also accommodates my hair like a lot of the other hats that i own and this one is also from Urban Outfitters, and I believe I paid about $10 for this specific hat. Okay, so for my next hat, this hat for a while was my favorite. It's still my favorite hat, but I had to kind of take a break because I noticed I was wearing it, like, all the time. And unfortunately, it was getting dirty, and I didn't want to ruin it, so I decided to give it a quick break. This is probably one of my only hats that I'm showing you today one of them not the only that is not from urban outfitters and it is a very more high quality style hat i wish that i knew a way to clean it because it does get dirty easily but um this is a mustard hat from brixton you can just see like how it looks inside how sturdy it looks and how you can tell this is a good hat this hat is actually extra small but on me it fits like perfectly. I feel like it's the same size as the other large hats that I showed you. Um, I love the brim. It's perfect. It is a little bigger, larger brim than the um, earlier ones that I showed you. This is ideally the type of brim that I love, but um, it's difficult for me to find this type of brim. It does, because it's such a light color, it does get dirty so easily and it's difficult to clean. So I try not to wear it. I have to give it a break a bit. If you guys know of any techniques or any places within LA where you can get your hat clean, that would be really great if you can comment below and let me know because I this hat, I don't want it to go to waist but it's just it's beautiful i love the color i love the style of it i love how it has a little sash i guess you can call it a little buckle it has the brixton details if you know anything about hats brixton is a really good brand when it comes to hats and they're also a very expensive brand and i got really lucky i got this from um the nasty girl site it was on clearance um this is probably the most expensive hat yet it's cheap i think i paid about 20 five dollars for this hat and i think it's close to 100 if not over a hundred dollar hat and i got it with a gift card so i pretty much didn't pay anything for this hat so that's why it's one of my prized possessions and i get a lot of compliments when i wear this one okay so for this last hat i feel this may be a hat you have seen on my channel i'm not really sure i've shown it before but it's worth including because it is another favorite hat of mine and it is somewhat new um, to me and um, it is this red I believe they call them boiler hats or boater hats from um, Forever 21 I actually got this I think it's about a year old it was really cheap too it was about ten dollars and it's just it's very simple in how it's made but it's also very like statement making when you wear this hat you are definitely making a statement and it is a bit more difficult to style in my opinion in comparison to the um fedoras and the longer brim hats just because it doesn't have a brim and it's more of a um somewhat of a trendy piece because if you guys have noticed these hats were really big at one point they're still big but 
like they're more of a trendy style of hats but I love this um one thing that I don't like about this hat is you have to wear your hair down with this hat like I tried wearing it with a ponytail I tried wearing it with different styles and it just doesn't look right I feel like you don't get the full effect unless you wear your hair down so in my hair doesn't all the way fit into this hat so I do have some difficulty wearing it but I love it so I try to wear it as much as possible okay so that concludes my hat collection video if you would like to see more ways of how I style each of these hats as I mentioned before let me know that in the comment section because I would be more than happy to do that for you guys and if you want any further shopping information about where the hats are from. I will be leaving all of that information in the description box, so make sure to check for the shopping links below. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Alright, bye!